today on MTG Unpacked, it's time for a double dose of chaos. That's right, we're cracking open two chaos mystery boxes. These are my vision for how a chaos mystery box should be. And today's patrons, we have Peter Sorensen and Tommy Bowman. All right, we're going to roll one through eight here. So we've got number two going to Peter and then one through seven. So number five is this one here, and we will consume the rest in future openings. And the theme this month is Kaiju. So if you've got any guesses for the foils in here, leave them in the comments below. All right, let's get into it here for Peter. Thank you for being a patron. So we will see what we have today. We've got a Modern Horizons 2, Ikoria, Crimson Vow. There it is. We'll take a look at that in a second. Lost Caverns, Outlaws, and Zendikar Rising. All right. So let's take a look at your giant beast here. So Kaiju, of course, loosely translated in English means monster or giant monster. And we have Ulamog, the Ceaseless Hunger. It's a mythic. So this one's from Commander Masters. He is huge indeed. 10, 10 for 10. That's sort of ridiculous. All right, so let's get into the packs here. And the patrons get the rares, mythics, foils, and anything over a buck, along with the art cards and anything from the list. And we do all of that to save the patrons on shipping costs. Starting off with Spontaneous Flight, Startling Development, Mutual Destruction, Fully Grown, Essence Scatter, Night Squad Commando, Plummet, Dranath Healer, Raking Claws, Hampering Snare, and Uncommon's Reconnaissance Mission, I think is over a buck, let's chuck it in, General's Enforcer, Grim Dancer, and Obosh the Prey Piercer, and I actually did a deck tech on this one a while back. Link in the corner. This is one of the companions. Also got a Windscarred Crag and MTG Arena. On to some Crimson Vow. So we'll see if we can find any giant monsters here. I don't think vampires would count. Uh, here we have... That is Thalia, Guardian of Thraven, along with an island. I'll chuck that in as well. Mind Leech Ghoul. That's delightful. Doomed Dissenter, Diagraph Scavenger, Siphon Essence, Witness the Future, Thirst for Discovery, Into the Night, and Voldaren Epicure, Blood Craze Socialite, and Kessig Wolf Rider for the rare. We've got a Foil Blood Vial Purveyor. And a troll card that's actually a day-night token. So if you're using that mechanic, you have the cards, the double-sided ones. On to some Zendikar Rising, and that looks absolutely fantastic. Can't remember what it is, though. It is Prismatic Vista, and we have a forest. I'll chuck it in. Drainer's Silencer, Highborn Vampire, Namana Skydancer, Malakir Blood Priest, Namana Skitter Sneak, Wind Rider Wizard, Vastwood Fortification, this one flips into Vastwood Thicket, Gnarled Colony, Relic Golem, and the rare is Aura Skyclave Hierophant, Foil Strength of Solidarity, and Bloodgast from the list. I think that symbol there, is that Rise of the Eldrazi? Something like that. Alright, so one in four set boosters have those. Now we come to a play booster, Outlaws of Thunder Junction, the latest magic set. So we have a Metamorphic Blast. That's pretty cool. Oh, signed art card as well. All right, and a Plains. We've got a Foil Return the Favor. That's actually decent. Hindering Light from the Breaking News and a Mythic Terror of the Peaks. Awesome. We'll sleeve it up three steps ahead. Another rare Hellspur Brute, Rattlebat Apothecary, Marauding Sphinx, Razzle Dazzler, Jailbreak Scheme, Skullduggery, Mystical Tether, Highway Robbery, and Hard Bristle Bandit. 
So I'll have to remember those are like the Japanese packs. Everything is the opposite order than usual. Okay, I'm whacking a sleeve on your mythic. Onto some lost cabins. So lots of dinosaurs in here. I think they would count as kaiju. Uh, here we have some pirates celebrating. This is Hit the Motherload. We've got a Hidden Necropolis, Cavern Stomper, Seismic Monstrosaur. Yep, a couple of dinos here. Disturbed Slumber, Pathfinding Axe Jaw, Petrify. It's Quint, Firstborn of Gishath, a Legendary, along with Earthshaker, Dreadmore, Rampaging Ceratops, Spring Loaded Saw Blades, flipping it into Blade Wheel Chariot. And growing rights of Itlamok. That is not a bad pull at all. On the other side, Itlamok Cradle of the Sun. We got a Foil Pathfinding Axe Jaw and a Vampire Token. Let's chuck him in there. Okay, on to our next pack Modern Horizons 2. And not long now, what is it, about a month to the release of Modern Horizons 3. Looking forward to it. Oh, we got a signed art card. So this is one of the swords. And I can never remember which. We have Sword of Hearth and Home. Along with an island. Aero Meba, Foul Watcher. Unholy Heat. Gouge Zealot. Mystic Redaction for the Uncommons. Feast of Sanity. Blazing Root Waller. And Glimpse of Tomorrow. Along with Shardless Agent, so two rares there, Gargadon Sketch, Foil, Silver Bluff Bridge, and Totally Lost without our list pool. Alright, so scooping it up here for Peter, the highlight I think is the Terror of the Peaks, and of course your Ulamog, Giant Eldrazi, that is awesome. Next up we have Tommy Bowman. Thank you for being a patron. Again, guesses below what the kaiju is in here. I'm curious if anyone will be able to get it. We have Modern Horizons 2, Ikoria, Bro. Here we go. We got two in this one. And Outlaws, Wilds, and Commander Legends. Okay, so again, <clears throat> the Eldrazi putting on a big showing here. It's another mythic. This time the 1515 for 15. That is nuts. Emrakul, the Eons Torn. Nice borderless art on that one. And you think they'll ever dig Emrakul out of the moon? Let me know in the comments. And you also get one of these uh, Godzilla type cards. We've got Gigan, Cyberclaw, Terror. The alternate art for Guy Ruder, Doom of Depths. That is awesome. Okay, so a giant demon kraken there. On to our Commander Legends. And this is a new box. I noticed it was made in Belgium. So you hardly ever see those these days. So I'm curious what the card quality is like. Seems pretty good so far. We've got Exquisite Huntmaster, Armory of Erois, Cage of Hands, Scrap Driver, Serpent, Valakut Invoker, Elvish Visionary, Workshop Assistant, Crow of Dark Tidings, Welding Sparks, Sky Diamond, Bitter Revelation, Finhorn Elves, Still Over a Buck, Scholar of Stars, Coastline Marauders for the Uncommons, Merchant Raiders, Shimmermir, Ooh, and a Mythic, Soulfire Eruption, uh, I think that might be one of the bulky ones, but we'll sleeve it anyway. We've got Obeka Brute, Chronologist, who, by the way, is back in Outlaws of Thunder Junction. Fath of Shadowcat Familiar, checking the legendaries. Foil, Kanji's Lieutenant, and a Spirit Token. Alright, so another Mythic. Not too shabby. Let's get into some Wilds of Eldraino. So I don't think there are terribly many giant uh, things in here. Oh, this must be like a Japanese pack. We've got Priests of Norn from the list. Okay. Let's do our card trick on this one. This always throws me for a loop. We've got a Half Elemental, Johan Apprentice Sorcerer, a Legendary, Hamlet Glutton, Beanstalk Worm, Balloon is Gatekeeper, Bellowing Bruiser, and a Swamp Art Card. 
Rowan's Grim Search, and of course we saw that a moment ago. You do get a signed art card. Pretty cool. Foil, Brave the Wilds, and Raid Bombardment from the Enchanting Tales, along with Godric Cloaked Reveler for the rare, Become Brutes, and Frolicking Familiar. On to some Outlaws. Can we find Oko? I keep opening packs of this. And we have still not found Oko. I think we've gone through about three boxes now. We have Hollow Marauder, Corrupted Conviction, Vengeful Townsfolk, Peerless Ropemaster, Ambush Gigapede. Holy cow! That is indeed a card name, Discerning Peddler, Spinewoods Paladin, and a Blood Token. Let's chuck it in because it's awesome. We've got a Swamp as well. Foil Nazumi Link Breaker. And we've done it! Oko Thief of Crowns Mythic from the breaking news. Okay, so it's not the other Oko, but still we're happy. Hell to pay. Shackle Slinger and take for a ride. Alright, whacking Oko in a sleeve. So what is the other one? Oko the Ringleader, I think. We haven't pulled that one yet. On to some bro. Come on, bro. See some spicy artifact goodness. Uh, this is a schematic variant. We have Mystic Forge along with an island. Fog of War, Power Stone Engineer, Peregron Penragon Strongball. That's mouthful. Elif Chaplain, Falaji Dragon Engine, Hulking Metamorph. Bushwhack, Falaji Vanguard, and Soul Guide Lantern as the artifact. Let's chuck it in. And a Mythic Platoon Dispenser. I think that's total bulk, so we won't sleeve it. Foil Third Path Savant, and a Zombie Token. I've actually never seen that one, or I don't remember it, so we'll chuck it in. And Ikoria, look into his eyes what you see. We are still trying to figure out what that creature is. I think they said he's a marmoset, right? We've got a Blade Vanish, Keep Safe, Ram Through, Springjaw Trap, Rumbling Rock Slide, Convolute, Mysterious Egg, Corpse Churn, Flycatcher, Jurafed, Hornbash Mentor, Proud Wild Bonder, and Insatiable Hemophage, along with Quartzwood Crasher for the rare. Foil, Will of the Old Hunter, and Blossoming Sands, and a Human Soldier. Alright, last pack here, Modern Horizons 2. Let's go out with a big finish. Let's see if we can make it into the Greatest Hits playlist. The Greatest Hits in Channel History, link in the corner. So I'll tally up the value here, see if we've made it. We got Sithis Harvest Hand. For the art card, a foil forest and a goblin and narcomancer along with Slagwood's Bridge, Rift Sower, Gargadon, Sanctuary Raptor, Tireless Provisioner, I think is still over a buck, Combine Chrysalis and Dress Down for the rare, Vindicate, another rare, Ornithopter of Paradise, Foil Ravenous Squirrel, and a magic mini game, Urza's Blueprints. And with that, Tommy Bowman is dancing around with glee. Never mind that Oko, I much prefer the magic mini games, he says. Alright, so enjoy the pools there, Tommy. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.